Hello, my name is Randall Camrad, and I'm the uh, writer and director of Far Away, and I'm also the editor, so uh, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the how-to of my editing process. So uh, let's just jump right in, shall we? Oh yeah, so, editing. This is my editing software. It's uh, Adobe Premiere, CS, uh, CS5, CS something. Um, and uh, it's uh, pretty uh, clear how it works if you've ever used an editing program before. If you haven't, I'll just uh, line it. It's over here. You can see what you're editing, the final thing. Here's a little timeline. Here you can see the various video clips, and here you can see the audio clips. So first I'm going to show you um, the raw footage that I took to make the sequence we're going to see. Um, this scene I shot in a certain way that I like, which is that um, I basically just told the actors, um, told the actors the action, gave them their marks and everything, and uh, let them go at it for five takes. Um, and each time I was using a handheld camera and I got different angles. Uh, so it's sort of as though I was shooting some sort of documentary, something I didn't have control over. Although I did get the camera in very close for various things. But there's no, uh, no careful planning to this particular sequence. I just went in there with the camera and got angles that I thought were interesting with each different take. So let's take a look at what I got. This is uh, a compiled version of some of the footage. Biko lang kung bat nagawa ko yun. Pare, narinig kita. Nagagawa talaga <coughs> ng mga kabalimang bagay. Nang dahil sa pag-ibig, diba? 45 Bravo, take two. See, for this time, I got a bit of a different angle, more from the side. Pare, narinig kita. 45 Bravo, take three. Action. Pag-ibig nga naman, oh. Hindi ko alam kung ba't nagawa ko yun. Pare, narinig kita. Narinig kita ka ka talaga ng mga kabaliwang bagay. Dahil sa pag-ibig. Narinig kita, right? pare. Right, what are you doing? 45 Bravo, take 5. Right? Right. Let's go. I'm not drunk. Get up. Right. Get up. Oh my God. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Cut. Okay. So now we can take a look at um, what I assembled all of that into. Now what I did was I took uh, pieces of each take. Like if you look here, uh, this is the scene. Um, this uh, code means a 45A take 1. So the shot is, uh, the scene is 45, the shot is A, and the take is 1. So I used um, uh, A1, A1, and a jump cut between those, and then, oh, yeah, sorry, shot B is the one we were looking at. Uh, I'm using take one, and then we skip to take five, and then skip back to take one, and then back to take five, then to take two, take three, take two. So I just took the parts that I liked best from each uh, from each take and uh, smashed those together. And since it's all handheld, I can I'm pretty much free to jump cut as much as I want, and no one will really mind. So let's take a look at what I've got here. <laughs> Along with the um, changes of editing all those uh, pieces together, what I also did was the clips you saw originally had um, different sound. It has the sound from off the camera, uh, which is okay. It's not too bad because I had a uh, shotgun mic attached to the camera, but it's not the best. But luckily I had um, uh, Ryan doing the sound work on this and he was holding a, uh, 
uh, pretty good uh, shotgun mic uh, with a boom. So we have separate audio tracks that are layered in here. I can show you. You can see all the different audio tracks put together and like over here there's a sound that's too loud so I had it dip out so it wouldn't uh, uh, so it wouldn't be too loud and I also have fades between each one so you can't really notice that the um, sound is completely different on each one and then after layering in that nicer sound which sounds much cleaner although I don't know if you can hear it over there on YouTube probably sounds uh, just about the same um, the next step I do is I attach the cinema scope to it because uh, I actually shot this with guide markers on the camera to show uh, what the actual screen size would be because I wanted it in a wider format than ordinary uh, 16 by 9 so let's just toss that on there there we go those black bars uh, uh, give things more of a adventure film feel, I, I think. Um, in each of these shots, because there is a bit of additional uh, footage at the top and bottom that isn't being used, and I intentionally meant for it not to be used, but if, uh, if I happen to make a mistake while framing the shot, I'm able to uh, go in and fix that, because I have just a little bit of extra space. So I can move things around if I want. But that stuff's already been moved, so I'll just leave that. And the final step, which I haven't gotten around to doing on this footage yet, is uh, to do the color correction. So I'll just kind of show you what I use to do the color correction. Well, that'll do. Okay, so I put in effects, magic bullet looks, toss that on there. And open the look editor. Okay, and now we could have all all of our little controls here. So I can see the image here. It's not at full resolution, but it it'll give me the right idea. And um, some color graphs here. Basically, I can go over here and just pick some ridiculous look I want for it, and it'll attach it. So, I can put something like that. Or, you know, put really crazy effects on there if I want, but I'm probably just going to make it simple. Something that gives it more contrast. So this is the, this is the new one. This is the original. The new one's not bad. Or the original's not bad for contrast, but I think it could be better, so... I'll toss that on there. Now the darks are, in my opinion, too dark, but the television screen seems to read that differently every time I look at it. But we can see on the graph all the darks are squashed pretty down there. These are each of the colors, obviously. And when they're at the bottom, that means it's pure black, and when they're here at one, that means it's pure white. So we don't really have any pure white, so let's see if I can use the contrast and get some without making the blacks too black. Well, that's okay, but it's still squashing things a little too much. I think I prefer to go with something like this, even though, see how these blue line, the blues go above the line, so they're more than pure white. They can't actually go more white than white, so it's just like virtually saying that. So now I've got something like. I feel a little uncomfortable because we lose a little detail in the face, but if you're upping the contrast like this, you're always going to be losing detail, so it's fine. And what we want is just to give the impression to the audience of like the type of colors that they like to see. Because when you see this sort of footage, you kind of just think subconsciously, like, oh, home video. When you see this type of footage, even though there's really not a whole lot of difference, it does mean something in your brain. Um, colors are a little, like there's not too much red and there's quite a bit of blue, so maybe I can fix that up a little bit. I don't know if it'll really be a good thing if I do that. But okay, let's see. 
Mm. Yeah, it makes it nice and warm, which is the way Philippines should look. So there we have it. This is um, what I've done with the color correction. This is the original. Color correction, original. Okay, so now we can see it in there. And what I would do is for each and every one of those shots, I would uh, find the look that's best for it. And then I would do that for the entire movie. So yeah, editing is a very long process. Okay, so that's just about all I wanted to show you for today. Um, I'll put the completed version of that video with the color correction and everything at the end of this so you can see it in all of its glory. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And if this gets a lot of uh, likes and attention and views, I'll put up more of this stuff. Okay, bye. Bigyan naman, no? Hindi ko alam kung ba't nagawa ko yun. Nagagawa talaga <laughs> ng mga kabaliwang bagay. And dahil sa pag-ibig, di ba? Pare, narinig kita. Ray, what are you doing? <clears throat> no, Ray, come on. Please, sinaktar mo siya. Ray, get up now. No, hindi sinaktar mo. Come on, you gotta go. I'm sorry, buddy, you gotta go. All right, get up! Uh,